Happening today, you are taking a live look right now at the White House this morning, where the present occupant, President Donald Trump, will be at the second day of the Republican National Convention. This comes after he was officially renominated for President of the United States. Republicans kicked off the event in Charlotte, North Carolina last night by formally nominating President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. It then moved to Washington. The convention was scaled down, of course, due to coronavirus. All right, so joining us right now live over the phone from the Republican National Convention, right in the middle of it all, Alabama Republican Party Chairman Terry Lathan. Terry, good morning. Good morning. Quite an exciting over, uh, opening night there, a time that we're dealing with this new normal. Terry, as you know, there are Alabamians who are kind of struggling without a job. There are business owners having a difficult time right now, mostly because of coronavirus. What is in this convention that you think can bring them some hope? Right. And, uh, you know, I think it is because of the COVID. It has basically hijacked so much of our lives in Alabama, but across America, too. Prior to that, of course, the president's policies and agenda had put us at a historic high in just about every category. And we see us coming back, too. So I think that's one thing that Alabamians can look forward to. When you have someone in the White House that's willing to cut bureaucracy and red tape, give the power back to the people, which he surely had done, you can see that we can actually do monumental things, and that's exactly what our economy is starting to do. I think that is the hope for Alabamians and Americans, too. Terry, Alabama went strong for President Trump. When they see some fellow Republicans, though, noticeably absent, like former President George W. Bush and Colin Powell, what do you say to those who believe that there may be a split in the party, or how is the party showing unity? Yeah, well, that's silly to think that there's a split in the party. You might have a handful of people, and I've always found it interesting that the handful is the ones highlighted. But you also have folks in the Democratic Party, and we saw last night live, that are there uh, supporting President Trump. I mean, a Democratic elected official stood up last night on national television and said, this is why I'm willing to go and help President Trump. So, so that happens on both sides. But I think overall, when you have the kind of uh, success that he's had um, going on on the last four years, I believe at the end, that's what people are going to look at. Not Someone in there is not going to say, what I'm going to do. Not someone like Joe Biden, who's had over 40 years, 45 years uh, of, of being there and can look back and not point to anything that he's, he's particularly done versus someone who's been there four years that could look back with a long list of things he's done and, and will continue to accomplish. Terry, you know President Trump has gotten a lot of criticism on his leadership during the coronavirus pandemic, not wearing a mask for quite a while, then wearing one, and then also some were criticized and say sniped at him for opening the country too soon. How do you think Alabamians feel overall about the job that he's done? Yeah, so Alabamians, I mean, that's kind of my world. <laughs> Um, there are some people that are very adamant about math. There are some people that um, are not, haven't bought into that yet. But what I am seeing overall, especially from the folks that may not quite be there yet on that issue, they are wearing them where they need to. Um, I wear one when I'm out in public, um, and my husband told me the other day, quit buying so many masks, because, you know, women, we've got an accessorized now. It's become an accessory, <laughs> what she, I think. Um, but it... it it depends. It really does depend. It's very strong opinions. It's almost like asking someone, are you for Alabama or Auburn? Very strong opinions one way or the other. But at the end of the day, I'm watching Alabamians um, wearing masks when they are out. Everywhere I go, I see it. Doesn't mean they necessarily like it, but it's happening. And I think there's some data that shows us that there is dropping, dropping, dropping numbers um, of the positive tests and deaths are dropping in Alabama. Um, I think you're going to see some people that may can make a case that that data shows that it is coordinated toward that. I'm not a, a doctor or a scientist, but it, it, it does correlate with that. So um, I guess it depends upon who, who you ask. But Alabamians are pretty tough, and we'll get through what we need to get through. Of course, uh, big night. Uh, Melania Trump will be speaking tonight. Big rest of the week. We're going to have to keep it right here. And, uh, and thank you again for joining us this morning. Alabama Republican Party Chairman Terry Lathan will be watching. Continue to enjoy the convention, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you, Terry. It is 612 right now on your Tuesday morning.